Welcome to video games, or at least one. This is the Forgotten City. It's a game that I wanted to try out. Um, it's about a game where you're trying to solve a mystery uh, involving a time loop, apparently. This uh, apparently was also original. It's not originally not a standalone game. At first, this was a mod for Skyrim, which came out in 2015, but. Uh, this year, it was released as a standalone expanded game on apparently just about everything. It seems like this game came out on just about every platform. So, we're going to press the any button to begin this. They want to avoid spoilers. Dear content creators, as you'll discover, this game is full of intrigue and plot twists. Please give your audience a spoiler warning before sharing content from beyond the white hallway so that interested players can fully enjoy the experience for themselves if they wish to. Sincerely, the Modern Storyteller Team. Okay, so uh, when we reach the white hallway, I'll need to remember to give you a spoiler warning. We will start a new game. I've only played like the first five minutes of this just to see if it was working. We're going to try it out and we'll decide if uh, we want to continue this. I think it's I think it seems promising, but let's let's see. Let's see what this is like. A core team of three people over four years. They love what they do. Mystery ending, mystery adventure with multiple endings. Thoughtful conversation, exploration, the fate of the cities in our hands. <laughs> You're alive. When I dragged you out of the river, I thought you were never going to wake up. I checked your pockets for ID, a phone, maybe. I hope you don't mind. Why are you? All I found was some loose change. Why are you staring at me like that? Wanna tell me who you are? Not really. It's like my body type. Uh, okay, we can be coin, or we can be other side of coin. Oh, my hands are changing as well. I have the big bony hands here, and I have smaller, smoother hands here. Pity we can't do it like in Frankenstein and have one big hand and one small hand. Remember that? Let's see what we can do with these big, ugly hands. My skin tone. Why don't we go for middle skin tone? Enter my name. Hmm, let's see. I wonder how they handle the name. Do that. I mean, obviously they can't voice the name, but I wonder if the name would ever show up in text. Um, if it's a Zelda game, I do like entering the name as something like this. I don't know if there will be fun dialogue to have if my name is that we'll see well it's nice to meet you and i'm sorry to pry but any idea why you were floating down the river what's the last thing you remember i'm reading a spoiler warning i need to tell you about the white hallway let's see i might have been searching for ancient ruins i might have been on a covert okay this means I'm an archaeologist. Years of studying history have given me insights into the ancient world. Covert mission. I have a military-issued firearm, but only 10 bullets. No way to get any more. I was on the run from the law. I'm a fugitive. My time on the run from authorities may be quick on our feet. I'm 25% faster when sprinting. Barely remember anything. As an amnesiac, my head trauma has increased. Is that how this works? If you lose your memory, you have a higher pain threshold, making me 50% harder to take down. Um, I like the idea that we're faster. 
increased speed seems like it would be generally useful. Let's try that. Really? You know what? Don't answer that. I don't think I want to know. Now that I've told you, I'm going to need your phone and your... I'm sorry about this, but I am a fugitive. Oh, come on. In your state, I could drop you on your butt and drag you right back into that river if I wanted to. Look. You've just been through a trauma, so I'm going to forget you said that. But you owe me, and I need a favor. Mm, well, maybe if I could, if I chose Amnesiac, then I wouldn't remember that I owe her. It's worth a try. Go on. There are some ruins just behind you. Roman, I think. I need you to go in there and see if you can find a guy named Al for me. He went in there a few hours ago, and he hasn't come out. I've been freaking out, wondering if he's trapped or injured... Or worse, I would have gone in after him, but he made me promise to stay here, no matter what. There's no way I'm leaving without him, so I'm just kind of stuck here, waiting. I need... what I mean is, I was hoping you wouldn't mind going in there to find him. If you can do that, I can get both of you back to civilization in my boat. Please? Uh, I should probably ask some questions about... Uh, all of this first. Oh, of course. Sorry, I don't mean to be pushy. I just... What do you want to know? What's your story? Oh, there's not much to tell. Feels like I've spent my whole life in a dead-end job with an endless commute. Know what I mean? I hear that. But you're not even going to tell me your name? Oh, uh... I'd rather not say if it's all the same to you. All right, rather not say. That's an odd name. I'd really like to know. I mean, I wouldn't be helping you in all this. All right, fine. Sorry if I sounded cagey. It's just that I don't always get the best reactions when I introduce myself. My name's Karen. Why didn't you want? Why didn't you want to tell me that? Look, if you really want to know all the tragic details, perhaps I can fill you in after you find Al. Who is Al, really? Who? Tell me about. Get down to the core of Al, the heart of Al. Who is he? He's the guy who washed up on the riverbank not long before you did. I thought maybe you two knew each other. I guess not. A lot of guys washing up on this riverbank. You can piece together what you're doing here. In any case, you'll like him, I'm sure. Once you find him, that is. Where are we? You really don't remember? We're in Italy. This river is the Tiber. And what can you tell me about the ruins? Not much, really. But imagine what you might find in there. Priceless ancient artifacts. Al. Priceless ancient owls. Have you tried calling for help? What am I, an idiot? You could hike a long, long way in any direction and never find another soul. Trust me. That's all the questions that I had, which is not really true, but apparently I cannot think of any more questions. Great. So you're ready to go look for Al? Um, I don't really want to look for Al. Are you serious? I just saved your life, and you can't do this one little thing for me. What kind of an ungrit- Ugh! Look, if you won't do it for me, do it for yourself. You want to know what you're doing here, right? All right, I guess I want to know why I'm here. My hero. The entrance is just past those columns behind you. Oh, and he left this here. But I think you'll need it more than I will. All right, let's take the flashlight. What a weird intro. So I really want to know what happened to Al. Sorry, he made me promise to stand right here and I never break my promises. Back already? What's up? Uh, Thanks again. let's let's. And please. We asked all the questions. We asked all the questions. Okay, there's the boat. Okay. 
Can we inspect the food? Doesn't seem like it. The ruins are just beyond those columns. Please, hurry. I was asleep on this not long ago. Smells like smoke and sweat. My sweat. All right, we can... There we go. Use the wheel, mouse wheel, to raise that up. Like, zoom in a little bit with the right button. All right, I guess we en we en we are entering the ruins. I can sh run with shift. But what could have happened to Al? We're sick with worry over wondering about Al. Yeah, I can lower the flashlight. I can see my hands when I run. Uh, here's a note. Is it from Al? If you're reading this, it means I've discovered the entrance to an ancient Roman city hidden deep underground. Its existence is long forgotten. All knowledge of it lost, except in the Latin inscription here. It reads, You who wish to enter the city, step forth and be judged. The virtuous shall be rewarded with eternal life in paradise. The wicked shall find themselves showered in gold, but in vain. For this shall be their final resting place. Could an underground city have remained a secret for all this time? Could people have survived down there, against the odds? It seems there's only one way to find out. If I'm not back in an hour, I'm somewhere on the other side. Consider this an invitation, or a warning. Al Worth. But is Al Worth his weight in gold? I don't know if he is. Oh, things changed. found the entrance. Well, I guess we know why Al didn't come back. Like, you have to fall down that shaft. Now you're going to climb back up. A Latin plaque which, given its position, seems important. If only I could read Latin. Any, any priceless treasures? I heard about the priceless treasures, Al. We found uh, Al. 
A golden statue of an old man wearing modern clothing. This must be Al, but how is that possible? Well, obviously, they... Someone uh, carved a really accurate golden statue of Al. I stood in the fire and uh, hung it for some reason. Why? Probably we'll never know. To whoever reads this, I'm sorry you had to find me like this. Where, what are we reading from? She'll suffer the same fate I did. I've spent a lifetime in this place, going around and around in circles, searching for a way out. The inscription was right. There is no way back. And here there are only two options. Death, or that godforsaken doorway into the past. I made the mistake of stepping through it. I wanted to set things right. And I tried. I really tried. Whatever I did, it took me right back to the beginning. Don't make the same mistake. Better to end it all now. And find out what awaits you beyond that portal. Uh, so did Al hang himself out of despair? Yep, that's a portal. That is a portal through time and space, if I've ever seen one. The, the portal is telling me to hold shift to sprint. Space and time portal. Making sure they know how I run. All right. Great circular portal and two women. Who could they be? Uh, salve, friend. I'm Galerius. Mind telling me who you are and what you were doing in the Shrine of Proserpina? I'm... I say, and I've come from the future! Uh, no idea what you're talking about. Oh, wait. Are you a bit, you know, not right in the head? <laughs> That's all right, friend. Everyone's welcome here. Thank you, my friend. But listen, most folks seem a bit confused when they get here, but you... You seem very lost, and in more ways than one. So, let me make this nice and simple for you. Live by our law here, and we'll all get along just fine. Your laws? Not laws. Law. There's just one. The golden rule. And the punishment for breaking it's... Well, it's kind of horrific. But our Magistrate insists we take all newcomers to see him, so I guess I'll let him fill you in. So then, are you coming? Alright, lead the way! Follow me! When I first arrived, I couldn't believe there were people living down here. But, as you can see, we've got a nice little community now. Only 23 of us at the moment, if you count the three who are missing. No idea how, since nobody knows a way out. But it's just big and dark enough to get lost in, if you're not careful. Aren't you Hello. To introduce me to your handsome new friend, Galeria. She called me handsome. Loincloth Aurelia, I'm taking him to see the magistrate. That pompous old boar won't be magistrate for much longer. Anyone who helps vote him out today drinks at my bar for free tonight. She called me handsome. Politics. I'd stay clear of it and her, if I were you. She's... Uh... It's not my place to say. 
Down on your right is our farm, where I grow all the food you'll ever want. As long as all you want is leek, cabbage, and wheat. Ha. Huh. That one usually gets a chuckle. The bloodless shadows wander without flesh or bone. Ah, don't mind, Livia. She means well. She's just been in a bad place since... Well, you know, I don't know what happened to her. Up here on your right is the chasm. If you've got a weapon, it belongs way down at the bottom. Up on your left is the forum, where you can visit the market or get yourself patched up in Lucretia's clinic in the Shrine of Apollo. Most of us have almost nothing, just what we had on us when we arrived, and what we've been able to make and scrounge up since. And this central plateau is where the Magistrate and the other patricians live, so don't expect a warm welcome. Hilarious. You're meant to be working the farm, not trudging dirt into the villas. Take it easy, Horatius. I was just taking our new friend here to see the Magistrate. Well, he's asked me to escort the newcomer personally. The farm. Go. Now. You'd better go with him. But just remember, they're not like you and me. Don't let them use you. What was that? What did you just say? Uh, I said it'll take some getting used to. Yeah, I'm watching you, farm boy. Greetings, citizen. My name's Horatius. Magistrate Sentius asked me to escort you to him personally. Follow me, please. What's what, what's this all what's this all about? I expect the magistrate wants to brief you about the golden rule. It shouldn't take too long. He's busy preparing for the election later today. All right, lead the way. I'll press the E key. The only thing you really need to understand right now is the golden rule. Let me see if I can explain it this way. When I was serving in the Legion, if there was a mutiny brewing in one cohort, the legate in charge wouldn't waste time finding the bad apples among hundreds. They just divided us into groups of ten, made us draw straws, and whoever drew the short straw had to be executed by the other nine. Didn't matter whether he'd done anything wrong. One of us in ten would die for the crimes of the Collective. We call it decimation. If that seems like rough justice to you, you're in for a rude shock. Because the Golden Rule is exactly ten times worse. The Magistrate can explain the rest. Who's up these stairs? And everyone sounds real thrilled about this Golden Rule. Hi! We're finally alone. I assume you already know who I am. May I know your name? I'm I say. A curious name to match a curious accent. But I digress. Something about your demeanor gives me the urge to caution you against doing anything, shall we say, unlawful while you're here? Is that understood? Well, there's only one law, so I mean, I'm sure it's would be easy to not break it. Understood? Now, you're probably wondering why I summoned you, and I'll get to that. But first, take a look at this wondrous place, would you? A secret city built deep in the mountains many hundreds of years ago. Yeah, it is beautiful. Indeed. More importantly, consider the miraculous community we've built here over the last seven months. Twenty-two complete strangers brought together by the fates living and working together in our own little paradise. And in all that time, not a single sin has been committed. No fights, no theft, nothing. Have you ever witnessed something so extraordinary as a city without sin? I mean, I think the citizens can have a little sin. Just a tiny nut, tiny amount of sin? Surely there would be no punishment for just a little bit of sin. I can't say I have seen that. Nor could I until I came here. But the reason for this, this miracle is as simple as it is terrifying. If even one person commits a sin here, every last one of us will die. You see, the builders of this place, whoever they were, 
left inscriptions warning, the many shall suffer for the sins of the one. From what we can gather, breaking the law here will anger the gods and provoke a terrible punishment. Like the curses of Medusa and Midas combined, turning us all to gold. We've come to call it the Golden Rule. It's extraordinary that we've survived as long as we have, and each day I grow more and more afraid that our time in the sun is almost up. And now it seems that day is finally here. Oh, is today the day of sin? Somebody in this city is about to break the Golden Rule. Why else would Proserpina send you now? Is that somebody us? And I can stop them. Our doom is assured. Have I been sent to break the rule? You look like you have questions. Please, ask away. What counts as a sin? An intelligent question. There was a good deal of debate about that in our first weeks here. Does it refer to crimes or to some other ill-defined wrong? Of course, everyone agrees on the basics. No theft, no assault, and certainly no murder. But beyond that, it was more difficult to reach a consensus. What about lying, insulting someone, blasphemy, trespass, trying to escape, bribery, infidelity, suicide? As magistrate, I had to exercise leadership, and so I made a decision. We must uphold the laws of the Empire to a standard never before seen. And we must honor the peace of the gods, the sacred accord between the gods and the people of Rome. It is only by offering the gods the proper respect that we may prosper as Rome has for centuries. Let's see. I'm not sure if that's a good idea. What is legal isn't always moral. And many, many of your laws or customs are considered barbaric where I'm from. Okay. Yes, prehistoric man. I, future man, am much more developed than you and your society. Why, your, your beautiful city is as a dust-filled village compared to the wonders I have witnessed. Barbaric. Barbaric. What are you talking about? The Empire is the most civilizing force in the known world. Rome is a beacon of light in the darkness. For 800 years, she has borne great statesmen, philosophers, poets, artists, and engineers. We have comprehensive laws protecting the rights of our citizens, which have unified countless warring tribes all across the Mediterranean and beyond from Gallia to Judea. All our citizens are treated the same, regardless of the color of their skin or their sexual preference. Can you say the same? When our people are starving, they are given food rations. And when they are wronged, they have the right to bring the guilty party before the magistrate. Our laws forbid treason, murder, assault, and rape, as well as theft and arson, and so on. No other civilization in the world is so advanced, and you have the the hubris to call us barbaric okay so i guess we can continue our debate with him don't your laws allow slave ownership don't your people watch blood sports for entertainment don't women feel richer than men don't you persecute christian don't you persecute christ i said don't you persecute christians uh, don't you practice collective punishment? All right. Um, I guess let's go in order. Don't your laws allow slave ownership? Of course. What else would we do with those prisoners of war who would otherwise have been executed? And besides, there are laws for their protection as well. Don't your people watch blood sports for entertainment? On occasion. But our gladiators are almost all volunteers seeking glory or condemned prisoners who would have been executed anyway. I do not see the harm. Don't women have fewer rights than men? Of course, but with fewer rights come fewer responsibilities and the right to be protected by their fathers and husbands. Don't you persecute Christians? Uh, you mean the blasphemous cult responsible for burning down half of Rome last year? It's hard to blame the people for being angry about that. Don't you practice collective punishment? 
Are you talking about our practice of decimation? Of course. We could hardly unite all these warring tribes without a disciplined, formidable legion. Where I'm from, we consider those things to be abhorrent unless you are very rich, then it's fine. But just saying everyone can do these things? Some chills up my spine. Well, right now, you're a long, long way from home. I have made my pronouncement on the subject. Unfortunately, there are still those here who resist whispering blasphemous and treasonous lies in the shadows. I would be keeping a close eye on them if I were you. But if, if they are already doing that, does it not mean that blasphemous and treasonous lies are not sins? Otherwise, everyone would be turned to gold by now. Thus, are they not morally correct? This, that's not an option, I guess, here. Uh, what did you mean when you said Prosperina sent me? Why can't you investigate? Do you have any suspects? Why can't we understand each other? Uh, again, let's go in order. What did you mean when you said Prosperpina sent me? You see, in my search for a way to save my people, I learned of an ancient ritual to Proserpina, the goddess of the cycle of life and renewal. It's said to open a doorway in time, so that if the unthinkable happens, one person can pass through it and travel back to the past. And when I saw you arrive in a flash of light from the goddess's shrine, I knew that person was you. You don't belong in our time, do you? You're right. I'm from 2,000 years in the future. 2,000 years? That is unfathomable. Please tell me, in your time, what did you see? What had become of us? Of this city? Uh, well, I mean, I don't see there's a reason to lie. He's He already guessed that they're going to be turned into gold, and that's the reason I'm here. You'd all been turned into golden statues. I have imagined it, our downfall, a thousand times. But it still breaks my heart to hear the truth of it. How does the ritual work? All I can tell you is that it's a ritual sacrifice to Proserpina. I stumbled across instructions. I have to recite a prayer, and of course, as with all rituals, some sacrifice is involved. Usually that means wine or food, or in some cases, a live animal. In this case, the sacrifice is rather more costly. The life of the person performing the ritual. I don't suppose you saw any sign of me in the future? I did see human remains in the temple. Ah, I assume that was me. If I'm forced to perform the ritual, it's going to cost me everything. You'll try to make sure I don't need to use it, won't you? I'll do my best? Well, I suppose that's all I can ask for. Why can't you investigate? Well, I believe you're in the best position to go around asking people questions. You're new here, and it'll seem perfectly normal. As for me, well, it pains me to say my attempts to impose order have not earned me many friends. I fear I may not even remain magistrate after today's election. The people here would only treat my curiosity with suspicion. You shouldn't have that problem, though. Unless, of course, you get off on the wrong foot. In my time, there are plenty of people who get off on feet, but I don't know what that has to do with anything. Fair enough. Do you have any suspects? Do you ever stare at a problem for so long that you can't see it for what it is anymore? What's needed here is a fresh pair of eyes. The less I prejudice the independence of your investigation, the better. Well, yes, I, I used to try to be an artist, used to try to draw. So, yes, I am familiar with the idea of staring at something for so long you can't tell what the problem is anymore. 
How do I know you're not the person responsible? Me? Why would you suspect me? I've just told you. I'm about to sacrifice my own life to ensure these people have a second chance. What reason could you possibly have to suspect me of all people? Uh, I, I guess you're right. I'm glad you think so. Without trust, without each other, we won't be able to prevent what is about to happen. Tell me what you really think. Well, all right. There are those who wish to vote me out of office so that they can pursue their own misguided political agenda. Frankly, their selfishness and recklessness risk destabilizing the entire city. I would be looking very carefully at them if I were you. Libertarians? Why can we understand each other? I don't speak Latin. You mean you couldn't speak Latin before you arrived here? How strange. But the gods are active here. And their temples and shrines hum with power like nowhere else in the Empire. Perhaps when Proserpina brought you here, she planted the seed of Latin in your mind so that you could better serve her. Awesome. Indeed. And I wish I could learn a language like that. Please, O oh goddess, put the language seed in my mind so I can watch my animes without needing the subtitles. If I do this, will you help me get back to my own time in the far-off future? If I understand Proserpina's ritual correctly, that problem should take care of itself. And let me see if I can explain. If you manage to prevent the sin that breaks the golden rule, I won't need to bring you here. I won't create the portal, and you will never have been able to come here. Thus, you'll have created a paradox. If this occurs, you should be flung back to your own time, having changed the past for all of us. Make sense? Well, I mean, you, you didn't... You, you need to continue on. If I never had a reason to come here, so I never came here, that means I never fixed the problem, so the problem still happens, which means I do come here. You have to keep going when you start getting into that explanation. I think so. That's all the questions I had. Ah, good. So, are you with me? Can I count on you to figure out who's about to break the golden rule? All right, I'm in. I'll be your narc. Wonderful. Now, I need you to investigate the city, talk to everyone, help them if it'll win their trust. I authorize you to enter private homes and inspect possessions and documents, unless, of course, you're asked to leave. Oh, they can just ask me to leave? Out who the culprit is, and as soon as you have a name, come back and tell me immediately. Hmm. Oh, and one last thing. If I were you, I'd start my investigation by visiting Lucretia at the Shrine of Apollo in the Forum. I heard wailing from there not long ago. Seems like something's not right. Yes, we did walk by her. I'll get right on it. All right. It seems pretty... The mission seems pretty broad. It's someone in the city is about to sin. And we have to talk to people and ask them if they're going to do a sin. Like, we don't know what sin. We don't know how big it is and how bad. It doesn't matter, because any sin will do. Hello. Ugh, this place has become a thoroughfare. Oh, I wish Horatius would stop letting barbarians in here. What do you want? Are you going to do a sin? What's your story? I'm Sentia, eldest daughter of the Magistrate. But you'd know that if you'd been invited in here and introduced properly. What are you doing in here? And why are you dressed like that? You're referring to my first suit, I assume. I'm not from around here. Really? I'd never have noticed what with your flawless accent, appropriate attire, and impressive mastery of our customs. Now, remind me, why are we having this conversation? Well, why are you constantly doing a DreamWorks face? 
you like your eye you like you always have one raised eyebrow if like the other one goes down like then the other goes up you're can you not can you are you incapable to not do that do you know a way out of here oh what is it with you people you heard the rumor that my little sister escaped and figure i must know a way out too is that it well that's just a stupid rumor we have no idea what happened to Centilla. I wish you mouth breathers would just leave me alone. Well, if her sister did escape, if she actually did, then escaping must not be a sin. Can I help? I'm a video game protagonist. I need to add some side quests to my ledger. I don't know. Can you? Can you tell me how a person could have disappeared from a city with no exits and no crime? Was she snatched away by the harpies? Do you have harpies here? Sentia, Sentia, Centilla. Why are your names all so similar? Can't you have proper names like Karen? You really aren't from here, are you? All Roman women are named after their fathers. I think it's their way of branding us. Like cattle to be sold at market. His family name is Sentius, so I'm Sentia because I'm the eldest. And my little sister is formerly Sentia Minor, but she is affectionately known as Sentilla. When did you last see her? <sighs> it was three weeks ago. We ate our evening meal together, and I remember she seemed happy. In love. We went into our rooms, I went to sleep, and when I woke up, she was gone. That's it. In Lerv, you say? She was seeing someone? I think so, yes. But she was very careful about keeping his identity a secret, even from me. Why is that? Because our father had plans to marry her off, eventually, and even a rumor about her attachment to some mystery man might have ruined those plans. I wonder if it was Al. Well, then again... In this particular timeline, maybe Al never actually came here. Like, I think, I, I assume that they never met Al because their timeline was reset. Your father didn't mention any of this when I spoke to him. Any idea why? That doesn't surprise me. To him, it was like a prized cow wandering off from its paddock. He's upset, of course, but he says he's too busy with the election to help look for her. So he's letting Horatius do the heavy lifting. Some good that's done. Is it possible her lover was involved? I don't know, but it's been three weeks since she disappeared and he hasn't come forward. That might speak to a guilty conscience. All I know is, whoever he is, he's still here in the city. But if she was having an affair, wouldn't that be... A sin. And again, I suppose we still have to figure out what exactly counts as a sin. You look surprisingly relaxed about your sister's disappearance. I hope you're not insinuating I'm somehow pleased with her disappearance. Are you? Oh, you're awful. Get out of my villa and never speak to me again. All right, well, she, she told us not to stop talking, so apparently we have to stop talking. That is what Sentius said. We have free reign unless someone tells us to leave, and I guess we have to leave. Hey, Sentius. Ah, you've returned. Do you have any news about your investigation? Your daughter seems pretty suspicious. Can we talk about who's going to break the golden rule? Of course. What is it? Uh, actually, I don't know who it is. Why then did you say... Oh, it doesn't matter. It looks like you'll have to continue your investigation. Now, was there anything else you wanted to ask? Ask then. Uh, okay, nothing new. Good. Now, was there something else you wanted to discuss? What do you think about this rule? I've had plenty of time to think about it. Let me see if I can sum up my thoughts. 
I've always considered my guiding star to be the well-being of the Roman people. Our survival and prosperity have always hinged upon honoring the peace of the gods, the sacred accord between the gods and the people of Rome. Give the gods what they want and we all prosper. Dishonor them and we all die. It's as simple as that. The real enemy in this place is not the golden rule, but human failings. The temptation to slide into degeneracy, greed, and hubris. I trust that answers your question. Ma'am, as, as much time goes by, that could just be a post on Reddit today. I better get back to it. Thank you. I'll be waiting here for news. Oh man, look at the push-ups. Oh, uh, yeah. Blast those reps. What were you two talking about? Uh, sorry, what? Don't play dumb. I saw you. Having a shady little chat with old man Sentius up on his balcony. What's he offering you? Money? Favors? What's your vote worth to him? He wasn't trying to buy my vote. What? You're throwing your lot in with him for free, then? That's even worse. Mark my words, Maliolus is going to be magistrate by the end of the day. And if I tell him you've sided with that feeble old has-been, that you've been trying to undermine his hard-won victory, you'll have picked the wrong patron. Got it? I wasn't thinking of interfering. But now I am. Oh, you just made a big mistake. Maliolus is going to hear all about this, and he'll make you suffer the tortures of Tartarus while you're still alive. That sounds like a sin. Tell Maliolus he's going down. Sturkamadite. Oh, hey. Graffiti. Is this not a sin? Sentius and Maliora's same excrement and different smell. Ah. Hey! You're not thinking about going into the cistern, are you? What if I was? I wasn't. But now I am. Contrary little cap at murder, aren't you? Why shouldn't I go down there? Nobody's told you about Hannibal. Ugh. Why do I have to do everything around here? So, there was this guy called Hannibal, right? Funny accent. We should go down into the cisterns looking for junk he could clean up and sell. One day, a few weeks back, he comes out and tells me the cisterns are haunted. Said he could hear spirits wailing. Of course, nobody believed him, because who trusts a Carthaginian, right? Anyway, a few days later, he goes back in. And hours go by, and he hasn't come back out, yeah? So I go down after him, and it's dark. But in the distance, I can just make out his body sprawled out on the ground, and hunched over him was something that made my blood run cold. No word of a lie. I saw a creature. Like the corpse of a man who'd been flayed, and it was eating Hannibal. That sounds like kind of it might have been a sin. Like a sin seems like it was involved somewhere. If it was a man, maybe. But I swear on my life this was no man. More like a Strix. Or some Versipellus that feeds on human flesh. I didn't stick around to see which. What did you do? What any sane person would have done. I legged it out of there and put a sign at the door to warn the others. It's a great story, but I'm still going down there. Without a weapon? Well, it's your funeral. Maybe it will be. Well, what, you have to... I mean, if you're gonna solve this case... We're gonna have to investigate the places no one is willing to investigate. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's coming. He's coming.
I guess I guess he can't get out of there. Hey, I saw the monster. Osinculio mio. Oh, okay, I guess we can't talk. I just wanted to tell him I saw the monster. He was telling me to let him die? We think that would be a sin if I let him die. Oh, hello. It's tired of me messing around. Press X to get a path of butterflies, moron is telling me. Fine. Okay. Hello. The butterflies sent me to you. Lucretia. Give me a moment. Sorry I'm such a mess. I just lost a patient. And a dear friend. Yulia. She was a good woman. What happened? She was poisoned. She came in here frothing at the mouth. Normally I'd treat her with resin of sylphium, a rare plant which is perfect for this sort of thing. And I knew Dacius had some at his market stall, right around the corner. So I ran over there, but he just looks at me with this evil smile and says, That'll be a thousand denarii. There was no way I could afford that, and he knew it. Then that toad shrugs and says, Supply and demand. I guess you don't value your friend's life that highly. Anywhere else, I'd just pay a thug to steal it from his stall. But there's no way I can do that down here with the golden rule. So all I could do is come back here and just watch her die. I kept on apologizing. And now I'll never know who poisoned her or how they managed to do it without breaking the golden rule. Or oh, why she cursed that snake's cruel black eyes with her dying breath. Hmm, price gouging? That sounds like a sin, but I guess it's not. Is there something I can do to help? Well, unless you have the power to bring someone back from the dead, there's really just one thing you can do. Maybe I can. That sylphium resin. I'm going to have another patient in here soon. Could be in the next day, or in the next hour. And I will not allow this to happen again. I don't care how you get it, but you have to make it happen. Because if I lose another patient this way, I swear to the gods below, not even the golden rule will stop me from marching up to that genetric comfort and scratching his eyes out. Well, all right, I guess she's now the, the main suspect for breaking the golden rule. I'll see what I can do. What's your story? I'm Lucretia, and I'm going to be straight with you. I'm not a physician. This is Navia's clinic. I've just been filling in ever since she disappeared. I'm tired and out of my depth and miserable all the time. But I'd rather take this on myself than let one of you lot mess it up. How did you end up here? My husband and I moved to Rome from Caesarea. He embraced the Roman way more than I would have liked and turned into an awful philanderer. I would have divorced him and demanded the return of my dowry, but I knew he would sooner have me killed than give me my right. So I waited for the right time to take what was mine and disappear. And then the fires came. As he prepared to evacuate our villa, I gathered our most precious belongings, coins and gemstones, and the moment his back was turned, I ran. I could barely see for the smoke. And the streets were full of people trampling each other. I ran for the river, like everyone else, and leapt in. The next thing I remember, I was waking up on a riverbank, not far from here. A lot of that going around. Also, it's a good thing your, your husband didn't come here with you, because it sounds like he would be breaking the golden rule all the time. I'm sorry to hear that. It's all right. Say what you will about this place. At least my fornicating husband will never find me. And while there's no shortage of snakes here, at least with the golden rule, 
they have to try to be discreet about it. Why are you working out of a shrine? Oh, this shrine was in use as a clinic long before any of us arrived here. Kind of strange to set up a clinic in the temple of the god of disease. But the god who inflicts a curse is also the only god who can undo it. So I suppose praying to Apollo for healing kind of makes sense. Tell me more about Navia. Well, she used to run the clinic. She was a midwife, not a physician. But she was the closest thing we had down here. And she was good too. Until she suddenly lost all interest in us. One day she told me she'd made some profound discovery about the golden statues. This changes everything, she kept saying. But I had no idea what she was talking about. The last time I saw her, the last time any of us saw her, she was muttering to the statues, like she could talk to them. And then she shut herself in the palace, barred the door from the inside, and nobody's seen her since. She's been gone so long now, we figure she's either dead or up to something so strange that she doesn't want anyone else to know about it. But I really wish I could reach her, because that's the only hope I have of solving a troubling problem, a real thorn in the poor situation. One of my patients is suffering from terrible rheumatism. His joints are inflamed, and he's in constant pain. Who is that? I really shouldn't say. He wouldn't like it. And he's a little bit scary. He's become so irritable that the smallest things set him off. And I worry he'll end up losing his temper and lashing out. And you know what that means. Yeah, it means sin. It's gonna mean sinning. know how to treat him, assuming she's still alive. But nobody seems to know how to get into the palace. Mm, I, I do need to know who this person is, because they might be a, a, a big suspect for sinning. I'll get right on it. Really? That would be wonderful. Thank you. Let me know how you go. Alright, so we did get some information. Also, there is a point that there are already golden statues here, so were there people prior, people already here, who sinned? Keep you safe. Hey, maybe a prior settlement? Did they dress this particular statue up? Because the clothes are not gold. Karen sent me. It's, this is why I'm here. Salve. Hello. Ah, a new face. Salve, and welcome to a little community. My name's impossible to pronounce for most people, so you can just call me Virgil. You arrived on a sad day, friend. What with Julia's death. I wish we could have met under better circumstances. What's your story? Well, I'm an architect. Or at least I was back in Rome. That's probably too grandiose a term to describe what I do here. Help out with repairs and try to stop old buildings from collapsing on people. That kind of thing. But you probably don't want to hear about the ingenious architecture or mysterious history of this place. Ah, it might be useful to know. Tell me what you know about the city's history. Oh, I'm glad you asked. Some of these shrines were constructed hundreds of years ago, which means Romans have been arriving here for at least that long. But there's one thing that puzzles me. The oldest shrine in this avenue isn't Roman at all. It's Greek. Isn't it common for the Romans to copy Greek art and architecture? Well, yes, that could be the reason. Or it could mean that there were Greeks living and worshipping here before the Romans arrived. Which begs the interesting question, who really built this place? And could it be far older than any of us imagine? If only there was a way we could talk to the people who came here before us. The stories they could tell. Yes, if only some sort of time travel maybe exists. 
tell me about the city's architecture. Gladly. Personally, my favorite thing about this place is the aqueducts. Those series of adjoining arches. They're an ingenious feat of Roman engineering, with a very practical purpose. They take fresh water coming from outside the city and distribute it all across the chasm. It's funneled below the palace and into a cistern beneath the great temple. Some of it flows down into another cistern beneath the villas, and the rest is funneled to the shrine of Proserpina, where it fills the lake and allows us to fish and farm. If they bring water into the city, could we use them to escape? Hey, not so loud. Just talking about that could anger the gods for all we know. I'm not saying it's impossible, but you'd have to find a way inside somehow. Just please try to be a bit more discreet about it. Tell me about the temple up on that bluff. You mean the great temple? This one's a bit of a mystery. Given the way it's positioned so prominently, looking down on us, it's clear that whoever built it felt it was the most important temple in the city. Unfortunately, someone else went out of their way to keep its purpose a mystery. You see, usually a temple is dedicated to a particular god, like Proserpina or Diana or Apollo. Usually, that god is obvious. But in this case, it's unknown. There's an obelisk out the front, which probably used to bear the name of this unknown god. But it appears some barbarian defaced it. That sounds like a sin. You can't get inside because it's locked up tighter than the temple of Saturn in Rome. And that contains the treasury. So we're all left wondering, which god is that temple dedicated to? And could it be the one responsible for the golden rule? Unless somebody figures out a way inside, I suppose we'll never know. Let's talk about something else. Of course. Do you know a way out of here? You wouldn't believe how often the new ones ask that question. But I tell you the same thing I tell everyone else. There are much worse places to live out your days. You might have a few sleepless nights thinking about the golden rule. But once you get used to the fear, knowing that a single slip up could cost you everything, it's not too bad. Nothing new to me, anyway. What do you mean? Oh, I just mean I grew up in the Batavi tribe, far to the north in Novio Magus, and learned to expect a bit of hostility. They weren't nearly as tolerant as the Romans. What do you think about the Golden Rule? Some people say it's divine, the work of a god, but I'm not so sure. It just seems so flawed to me. Like it's distinctly human. I mean, once you've been here long enough, you'll notice people doing things that just seem so wrong to you. But this so-called god doesn't seem to care. Which means one of two things. Either you don't know the difference between right and wrong, or this unknown god doesn't. And I'm pretty sure I know the difference. Do you? I'm not sure. Fair enough. I noticed the graffiti. What does it mean? Oh, it means someone thinks I'm a sinner and that I'm going to break the golden rule. Why does someone think that? Look, I haven't done anything wrong, if that's what you're thinking. Somebody just has a problem with my preference for male company. Is, well, is that a sin here? I mean, we can't, we don't know what counts. Yeah, you like men, huh? Hey, nothing gets by you, huh? I'm very observant. I'm well known for that. And then you grow up in the north as I did in the city of Novio Magus. You expect a bit of hostility. The Batavi are not known for their tolerance. I saw enough friends killed or driven away to know the cost of not keeping your personal affairs to yourself. So I hid who I was for, what was it, nearly 10 years? Watching what I said and where I looked. But that kind of fear eats away at you slowly until living isn't any better than the thing you were afraid of. Needless to say, since I'm now living underground, halfway across the known world with an assumed name, 
My openness didn't go down well among the enlightened folk of the Batavi. I'm sorry to hear that. Nice of you to say, but not necessary. In any case, the Romans are far more accepting, and among them, I get to be who I am. Or at least, I thought that was the case. It seems I was wrong. You know who's writing the graffiti? Uh, it's not just graffiti. I have quite a collection of handwritten notes, too. The strange thing is, I keep my personal affairs to myself. I've never really been interested in any of the men here. Not my type. So I'm not sure what I could have done to upset this person. If I had to guess, I'd say it's probably one of those cultists. Cultists? Tell me about the cultists. Strange bunch. They insist there's only one god, and that he considers my nature a sin. Can you believe that? If there are any of them here, they won't admit it. Not since they supposedly burned down half of Rome last year and went into hiding. All I know is, if these threats keep escalating, eventually my secret admirer is going to cross a line and break the golden rule. We've got secret Christian, or at least one. There's one secret qu Christian, maybe more, but at least one. I'll look into this for you. What? Really? I... I didn't expect that. But thanks. It's always a pleasure to meet someone so selfless. I'm glad you arrived when you did. I'd start by figuring out who the cultists are. Or maybe ask around among the merchants here. Someone who lives or works in the forum must have seen something. But if you find them, please don't hurt or humiliate them. I suspect they're just confused. I'll get right on it. Come back and let me know what you find. Actually, I didn't see the graffiti before I went in. Is there... Oh, this. Always remember, they're watching. Turned into gold on the toilet. What a place to get turned into gold. These holes must be designed for use with the sponge on a stick. Oh, what's this? Theophilus had an orgy with four girls here and disappointed all of them equally. Oh, burn on Theophilus. Everyone's always going to know that. in that great temple up there on the bluff. I bet it's worth a fortune. Opius the thief sold my purse and I... No, they didn't get to finish writing that. Salve, stranger, and welcome to our idyllic little slice of the Empire. I'm Dacius. Terrible shame what happened to Yulia. But we just have to carry on, don't we? Oh, this is the guy who uh, was gouging. I need some Silphium resin. Certainly. All I ask is a reasonable price of a thousand denarii. How much is that in real money? You're price gouging over a life-saving medicine? What is wrong with you? Oh, it's perfectly legal. Simply a question of supply and demand, I'm afraid. Take it or leave it. Did you hear that? Hear what? The whisper. Ah. Uh... Are you sure you're feeling all right? If you're hearing things, perhaps you should pay a visit to Lucretia's clinic. We don't want another Navia on our hands. What happened to Navia? She claimed the statue was a whispering to her. Nobody else could hear it. Then she shut herself in the palace and we never heard from her again. But I digress. Do you want this Sylphium or not? All right. I don't have a thousand denarii, but I do have this picture of this ape smoking a cigar and wearing sunglasses. It's worth well more than a thousand denarii and it continues to appreciate in value every day. Sir, 
You would be a fool not to take this. How would I come up with a thousand denarii, hypothetically? That's hardly my concern. But if you get a job, work hard, and save your coins, you should be able to afford it within, say, five years? How are you making any profit on this medicine if no one can actually buy it from you? We can't actually ask that. What about if I just took it? Well, if you did that, you'd break the golden rule, and we'd share the same fate as the last lot who lived here. Is that what you want? The statues are telling me to take it and run. We could try bluffing. Is that what you want? If not, hand them over now. Do you think I don't know a bluff when I see one? Nice try. Well, that was a bluff, it's true. Look, I just don't have that kind of money. Very well. Perhaps I can interest you in something within your budget? Is that like an innuendo? I mean, I guess we'll do what we have to do. What's your story? You mean how did I end up here? That is a lengthy tale. Uh, I, I don't have anything else to do, honestly. Let's hear it. All right. Well, you see... I'm in the business of procuring rare and precious objects liberated from the enemies of Rome. Mostly sculptures, vases, the occasional slave, fetch a magnificent price in Roman high society. Had myself a nice little shop in Rome, just off the Forum. Lots of foot traffic and close to the docks. Good place to be when the fires broke out. See, about seven months ago, half of Rome caught on fire. Everyone who couldn't get to an outer gate was running for the river, hoping to escape by barge. So I gather my coins and some priceless vases into a cart and had my most loyal slave girl, a pretty young thing named Acantha, push it for me. All the way down to the river, I'm elbowing for a stampede of people, turning back now and then to make sure she hasn't legged it with my valuables. But, to my surprise, we make it, and I see this barge loading up, and it's so full it's almost sinking. But the captain's happy to take my coin, so I start boarding, and then he puts his hand on my chest and he says, No, too heavy. The cart or the girl. So I did what anyone would have done. You chose the cart, didn't you? Of course I chose the cart. I mean, I can always buy a new slave girl if I still have my money. So I put me hand on the cart, and I guess you realized what was happening because those pretty black eyes of hers go all wide. And in one swift motion, she topples the whole bloody thing into the Tiber. I think I see where this is going. Naturally, I dived in after it, hoping to salvage my fortune. Only, I guess I must have hit my head or something, because everything went black. When I came to, I'd washed up on the riverbank, not far from here, with nothing in the world but a single silver coin. Yeah, a lot of falling in rivers and getting washed up happening. Sounds like you got what you deserved. I couldn't agree more. I mean, sure, I'd lost a few thousand denarii, but I've already made it back, and this place is a veritable treasure trove. Look around you. There must be more gold in here than in the treasury of Rome. If I can just figure out how to get it out of here. How have you lived here for like six months and somehow not sinned? Do you know a way out of here? I'm afraid not. If you're desperate, I did hear that Aurelia down at the tavern claims to know of a way out, but I'm not sure I trust her. Some people here are a little shady for my liking. I really, I hadn't noticed the shady people. Oh yeah, gotta watch out. Old Dacius has got your back though. What do you think about the golden rule? It's terrible for inflation is what it is. There's so much gold just lying around, it's practically worthless. At least down here. Of course, I have an idea for generating real wealth, but what I need is a bow. Just a simple composite bow. I've scoured this city from top to bottom with no luck. But if you happen to find one, bring it to me and we'll talk. Hasn't the Magistrate banned weapons? Oh, well, technically yes, but that just means you'll need to be a little discreet. Is breaking that law a sin? It's hard to say. I'll see what I can do. Thank you, friend. Any idea who's threatening Virgil? I don't, I'm afraid. But I did overhear Fabia telling Georgius she saw something. She was headed to the baths not long ago. Who are you going to vote for? Maliolus. I mean, Sentius couldn't even keep his daughter safe. What hope does he have of protecting us? 
I'd like you to vote for Sentius. <laughs> Not gonna happen. What if I asked you nicely? I'll be going now. Very well. Another time. Oh, it's pointing me to Fabia. Yeah, I heard. I, I know. Statues need help. Hello. You have to do something. Yeah? A man arrived in the bath. A real nasty sort, with his face all covered up. And he's got a weapon. Yeah, does he? Do something, or he's going to break the golden rule. How? I don't have a weapon. None of us do. The magistrate made us throw them all into the chasm. So now this man's bow is the only one in the city. Ooh, he has a bow. Have to improvise. Is it a composite bow? I guess I'll get on it. Thank you. He's still in there. Somewhere. I have to hide. Find me in this empty shrine when it's over. Did you hear that? Hear what? Heard a voice whisper no. What? We don't have time for this. I have to go. Never mind. I don't know why I said that. <sighs> well. Okay, there she goes. The shrine is collapsing. Oh no! Fabia! <laughs> oh dear. Somebody help! Fabia, no! Look what happened to Fabia. She's dead. Did anyone see that? I did. The whole shrine just collapsed on her. Oh, Fabia, why did you have to go in there? If only she believed me. I can't believe she's dead. Fabia, I mean. She walked into that empty shrine. And the next moment, she is lying dead under a pile of rubble. The gods are cruel and unjust. She was like a daughter to me. I'm sorry, friend. It's not right for me to lay my burden upon you. I can't believe she is dead. The... Okay, I guess we can't talk to him about anything else. Oh, poor, poor Fabia. But I guess there's nothing... I guess there's nothing we can do for her now. Let's confront the man with the bow. She was very frightened about him. Stop right there. I am looking for Tiberius Quinctius Crispus, otherwise known as Quinctius. Do you know where he is? I don't think we yeah, we've not met such a man yet. I'm not sure I believe that, so allow me to explain something to you. I am here with orders from Emperor Nero himself to find and execute the cultist Quinctius for terrible crimes against the Empire. So, if you tell me the truth, I will allow you to live. But if you lie to me or otherwise obstruct the Emperor's business in any way, I will put this arrow through your chest. Is that understood? Ah, he's, go he's looking for the secret Christian. I would assume then that we will, that whoever Quintius is, he's going by another name. Otherwise, he wouldn't be a, a secret Christian. I swear I wasn't lying. I swear to Jesus. Wait, no, I'm not the secret Christian. You are not off to a good start. When I ask you a question, I expect an answer. Is that understood? Got it. Thank you. Now tell me, who are you people? And what is this place? We're just a small community of strangers who wound up here by accident, but somehow we're all making it work and we're getting along. A small community. <laughs> I was told Quintius was a cultist, but I never thought he'd be foolish enough to lead me right to the heart of his mystery cult. Wait, what's a mystery cult? Oh, don't play coy with me. I don't care if you're worshipping Bacchus, Magna Mater, or Christ. You lot are all the same to me. Always sneaking off to your secret sanctuaries, indoctrinating each other with your little mantras. The Emperor may have tolerated your activities up until now, but after what Quinctius did, those days are numbered. 
You got the wrong idea. We're not cultists. You say that, but if you're not a cult, then why go to such great lengths to keep this place a secret? Well, we're not keeping it a secret. We're all trapped in here. So you admit you're not allowed to leave. It's not that we, we're not allowed. We physically can't leave. There's no way out. Threatening me is not going to help you. But in any case, that sounds an awful lot like a cult to me. And I saw the inscription saying, the many shall suffer for the sins of the one. I take it this is some kind of mantra you all believe? It's not a mantra as far as we know. It's a warning. Uh, a distinction without a difference. You've clearly been indoctrinated into this nonsense. Now tell me, where did you lot get enough gold to make all these statues? They were once people who were turned to gold as punishment. You lot are practicing human sacrifice too. You people disgust me. We didn't turn them to gold. A god did it. We don't know which one did it. You want to shoot the god with your arrow. Of course you'd say that, but that's what your kind do, isn't it? Our god told us to do it. It's all clear to me now. The secret sanctuary, the indoctrination, the mantra, the human sacrifice. You're cultists. There's no doubt in my mind. What baffles me is how a person can believe in something with such zeal. They just can't see what they've become. However, you still have a chance to redeem yourself by telling me where Quintius is. Do not waste it. What can you tell me about Quintius? Very well. Here's what I know. He's a 40 to 50 year old man with distinctive eyes, one green and one blue. He's also known to have delusions of grandeur. The Emperor says he and his cult, your cult, are responsible for starting the fire which burnt half of Rome to the ground and killed thousands in the process. How do you know he set fire to Rome? All I know, all I care about, is that the Emperor believes he is guilty and wants him dead. The details are not my concern. This is your last chance. Are you going to tell me where he is or not? I don't know who or where he is. <sighs> then you're of no use to me. Do you have any last words? I mean, you said you wouldn't kill me if I told you the truth. And there's a simple explanation for that. I lied. But if you want to know the truth before you die, here it is. Once I'm done with you and Quintius, I intend to kill every last one of you wretched degenerates. And I can think of nothing I'd enjoy more. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Well, I'm still alive, but I have to run away. Okay, he's uh, he's gold. And let's see, are all the statues moving or just that one? It's probably a mistake. It is possible to survive if we follow the magistrate. Well, that was uh, that's our look at Forgotten City. It seems interesting. I mean, it does kind of remember. It does kind of remind me sort of the the format of it. Does kind of remind me a bit of Paradise Killer, in that it seems like that we're exploring this the city trying to discover a culprit though the strange thing is is that it's a culprit who hasn't actually done the thing that they're going to do yet um 
that apparently they're going to sin, but what sin? I mean, I mean, clearly this assassin is going to sin, but is that the reason that everyone turned to gold to begin with? Because, I mean, when everyone turned to gold, the first time, I assume, then, like, we were not there. This is a new timeline because we're here now, but when even when we weren't here, they still turned to gold, so... Our interaction with the assassin wasn't what turned people into gold. So something else, some other interaction, some other sin is what turned people into gold. Uh, so what can, what is a sin and what can turn people into gold? Well, the only thing that we can clearly confirm does that is violence. We have seen violence happen and then, uh, you know, then the the golden rule kicked in. So, at the very least, we know that can do it. Is violence the only thing? Uh, or are there other things that can activate the golden rule? Maybe that's one of the things that you would have to figure out as you play through the Forgotten City, trying to narrow down what are the sins. Because um, some things you might consider to be a sin, I guess, are not. And, uh, well, I fell off a cliff, which clearly is not what you're supposed to do, but it says that it is possible to survive if I follow the magistrate, which, like, I didn't do. Um, but maybe we will co maybe we will continue the Forgotten City. It seemed like it could be interesting. It seemed like, it seemed like interesting premise, and we do like investigating mysteries. So, but uh, I think that that's enough for the Forgotten City for right now. I, I, I don't know how we would deal with the assassin without sinning. Would we have to convince him to not do violence? Maybe if we knew enough about the subject he's interested in, maybe we could prevent him from committing a violence. Um... Maybe that would be the only way of doing it. Well, I mean, who can say? All I can say is that this has been a little bit of The Forgotten City.